you're unable to SSH into your server as root, but other users are able to SSH into your server, there are probably two reasons why. The first reason, the root user is not permitted to log into your server using a password. So you may need to have an SSH key to access your server. And the second option, which is usually most common in most Linux distribution, is that the root user is just not permitted to SSH into your server. So that is the same issue I've faced here on Alpine Linux. So I will be using Alpine Linux as an example, but I'm going to get, tell you what to do if you're using Debian or Ubuntu. Let's just get started right away. As a root, you can see I'm unable to log in, even if I enter the password. So I'm just going to press Control C, and then I'm going to log in as, as the other user. The other user is just called Ubuntu, and I'm using Alpine Linux. This is on my local computer on VirtualBox. So I'm just going to log into this user. Okay, you can see with this user, I'm able to log in. The first thing, let me switch to the root user on the server. Now that I'm logged into the server, I can switch to the root user. SU, and I can just do SU dash root. Enter the password for the root. So now I'm root. If I was to do who, who am I? It's going to tell me I'm root. So what I need to do is I need to add something to my SSH configuration file. So I don't want to add it to the SSH configuration file. I'm just going to add it to another file. And that file is usually added to the SSH configuration file. So I'm going to create a new file, vi, and I'm going to create it inside of etc, ssh, uh, sshd, tab, s as a tab dot d so this is a directory and inside of this directory i want to create my configuration file so you can always add your configuration files in another file inside of this directory and they will automatically get passed along with your ssh configuration file so i'm going to call mine my configuration for my cf dot conf you can call it whatever you want you can also add this inside of the default ssh configuration file but i like to put everything separately so i'm going to Add it there and I need to add first of all press I to go into insert mode because I'm using Vim so I'm just going to do permit root login yes and then I'm going to escape press escape and then shift ZZ to save if you're on Ubuntu or Debian you're going to do apt not apt, you're going to do service ssh restart. So that is on Ubuntu. Here I can do sshd. If you're on uh, if you're on CentOS and Red Hat related operating systems, you add sshd on Alpine Linux as well, sshd. So that will stop and start sshd. And now I should be able to log in as a root user. So let me open a new git bash window. So that's a new git bash window. And I'm going to try to SSH as root. Enter, enter the password. And now you can see I'm able to log in as a root user. For me, this is on the local computer, so I really don't care. But on the cloud, you need to ensure that you've set up SSH keys. And I have multiple videos for that setting up SSH keys for your server. And then you will come here and instead of yes, so I want to go to the end of the line to edit it. I can do shift A and I will use pro he bit password. So prohibit password, as the name suggests, simply doesn't allow the root user to log in with a password. They have to have an SSH key. And this is what you should aim for. At least if you are allowing the root user to log into your server, make sure you allow them to log in only via an SSH key. So if I was to do uh, escape, and then I will do shift ZZ to save, and then I will restart it again. So remember to restart it on Debian Ubuntu. It is service SSH restart. So I will restart it. And now if I go back to the other SSH and I log out and I try to log back in, I'm just going to enter my password and you'll see it will refuse to log me in. Okay, if I want to log back in, I will need to change it. I will need to change this to yes.
escape shift zz to save and then the search d restart and now if i was to do the password again i should be able to log in try again there we go all right that's it for this video if you have any questions let me know